one, two, three. Episode 40 of my MLB, the show 19 with the New York Mets. Welcome. And here we are for this uh, game in Atlanta. This will be the first two games I will be uh, quick managing. So it will be... Uh, what's the last name? What's the first? Kevin Gussman versus Dallas Keuchel. Let's see what we can do here. Let's do a quick manage. And I think... Yes! No, Ioannis is... Uh, no longer injured, so let's just fix that lineup to make sure that he is in it. Uh, lineups. DH is quick. Who's playing? Okay. Things got a lot more dangerous for the Mets here. Field. That fixes his lineup. It's all out of whack. There we go. Alrighty. Show on the road. Ah, we have a solo home run. Oh, come on, Kaiko, don't fall apart now. Don't fall apart now. Damn it. We are not doing anything. Oh, five nothing. Oh my god, seven nothing. No way we're gonna come back from this. Let's just sit in this half inning. Sim. Oh, seven to two. That's Kaito with his fourth loss. And Michael Walk on the mound. Uh, let's see what we can do. Hopefully come out with the win. No, and put in. Well, you know what? We'll switch some people around. Mr. McNeil, you're going to be playing second base today. And then who's playing third? Be Mr. Frazier. Okay. Put in Mr. Is Smith everybody up? Uh, a weak hitting lineup. Anyway, all right, there you go. Double bike and four drives into runs. So it's two nothing. Single with Doc Smith. Alright, here we go. One, two, three. Inning one, two, nothing against the Braves. Michael Walker gets a win. Seven innings, four hits, four strikeouts, three walks. And Diaz was 34th save. And the game we're playing is going to be Zach Wheeler versus Jesse Biddle. Jesse Biddle is 4 and 2. With a 4.4 ERA. Zach Wheeler with an 11 7 record with 3.7 ERA. So let's 
get it going. I'll see you guys in City Field. That's a leadoff double for Enciarte here in the first. That was just a badly placed pitch. Um, a Wheeler and myself. We double play ball. Out of second. Out of first. And I have a double play to end the first. Uh, the top of the first. And that's kind of a little trouble there. Welcome back, Jonas Cespedes. He's down for an injury for about two weeks, but it's good to have him back. And uh, Nimmo is filling in the spot pretty well. And thus, the result was a terrible pop-up foul. Case in point, right there, Matty. We're seeing a trend. The North and South. There you go. That's a good swing by Echeverria. This could be a home run. And it is. It's out of here. That's a solo home run for uh, Danny Echeverria. That's his first of the year as a Met. And things are no longer tied. It is one nothing here in the third inning with two outs. That ball just hung in there. I saw it. It looked very slow. So I jumped on with Echeverria. Got a hold of it. Let's take a look at a replay. Well, he was on cruise control, just needing 393 feet. But he came up with a plan. Two, he's pitching well. We're working two and two to Freddie Freeman. Right now, but this is what he's really going to have to bear down when you start going through that. Got him with high fastball. That's the second strikeout of oh, the game so for Wheeler. He was hopping at 99 miles per hour. So Jesse Biddle at 97. On the three, one, and two, two. Two, two, you're probably taking a turn for the dugout. He's able to ride this one high and deep. That's a good shot by Ramos. There's going to be a, at least a run in. Cano turns third. Oh gosh, this is going to be a bad throw. And he's going to be... Oh, he didn't handle it. That is an RBI double for... Oh, uh, no. Damn it. Oh, boy. Alright, let's put in McNeil, who's supposed to be getting day, day off, but I was so excited for that call, but then he gets injured. Come on, man. Let's go, Wheeler. Let's go, Wheeler. God, I'm looking at the fastball. Soroka did not even bite. Ooh, he misses it. This is going to be a triple for... For Michael Conforto, he's going to round second. He's going to make the third safely. This is a triple for Michael Conforto here in the fifth inning. Oh, my gosh. I think I could have caught that. What the heck? That did the same thing right to Michael Conforto. Damn it. I should have just caught that normally. I want to do Camargo. Try to get the outside curveball. At second. Ah, safe at first, but that is a run for the Braves. It'll be 2 to 1. Here in the sixth inning with two outs. And that's a swing and a miss, and that's a strikeout on Duvall. That ends the inning. It'll be 2 to 1 Mets. I believe I'm going to make that Wheeler's last batter of the game. A loop to the right, and it doesn't drop, or rather hits off the right fielder for a base hit. There's a blooper to right field, typical Ramos type hit. This is not catch it. That's a bug. That's gonna be, oh my gosh, a double play. What a play by Freeman to get a double play off the line drive. 
That gets me can on outside two scene. I don't agree with it, but I'll take it. All right, two and two Marquegas so for the man on second. God, I'm swinging a slider way outside, and the inning's over. Libertor coming for the bullpen with three strikeouts, giving up that double. That should be the ball game. Nemo tracks it down, makes the catch, and the ball game is over. The Mets win two to one. A low scoring affair for the Mets. And Zach Wheeler gets the win. It was a home run by uh, Echeverria and that uh, RBI double by Wilson Ramos that got Cano injured. But we got the W. So the problem now is we got to try to figure out who goes where. I might put McNeil in second, uh, move over Lowry to third base, and put Frazier on third. Uh, it says two to three months. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it takes well in the playoffs. That sucks. Um, so we're gonna have to really take care of things now and uh, go through it, man. We got to go to the lineups here. Let's fix everything up before I end this video. Uh, let's see, let's see. We have 24 in the roster. Let's see if I can move a second baseman up. Joseph Herrera, JD Davis. I should bring up Med Rosario now. I feel about having him there. I'm not 100% confident with him. JD Davis, I'm not 100% confident too. So I guess my best guess is to move up Rosario. He still probably won't start. Um, so let's take a good look at the lineups here. Um, let's see. Well, I'll fix that later. Don't worry. In. Frazier, but he's gonna switch with Lowry. And Lowry is going to play. Oh no, we're actually okay with this. McNeil can stay there. He can stay at shortstop. Yeah, that's fine. We can have Lowry at second. I forgot he's also a utility guy. So we move him up there. Here. Lowry, Frazier, switch. That should be it. All right, so this is gonna be our life now. We're not gonna have, um, we are not gonna have Robinson Cano for the rest of the playoff, or rest of the season, power playoffs. So this is it. This is our uh, roster. Hopefully, no one else gets injured. I'm a little down about this because uh, Cano does get on base for me. He does draw walks. He does. You know, make, make little base hits that move the ball around. So, you know, this is this is our life right now. But anyway, the wraps are up here. I hope you guys enjoyed my episode of my LB the Show 19 New York Mets franchise. Don't forget to click the like button. Leave any comments below and subscribe if you haven't already. Click the notification bell. And hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy and peace.